working with a living material such as mycelium requires a different way of thinking about the design process. One, one in which you have to work with the material itself and understand what it wants and what it wants to be. Because you may try to do that, but fungi doesn't want that. Biomaterials in architecture are a crucial way forward for human societies because the traditional building materials are, are unsustainable. Construction is a, an energy intensive and a resource intensive industry. If we keep doing things the same way, we, uh, the climate crisis is going to get worse and worse. There's actually a, a lot of interest in mycelium-based composites from the design and architecture community in the recent years. This is mainly because of the sustainable futures of mycelium-based composites. Uh, these materials can be grown on agricultural or organic agricultural waste. And at the end of their life cycle, they are completely biodegradable, so they also don't leave waste. So I was curious, you know, what this would mean for design. And I thought, I decided I can teach a course a seminar at Penn State. Uh, through that exploration, I learned a lot with my students and together with my students. And um, I decided that the work that we did in that class with fungi could be very promising to continue as a research line. It coincided with um, Ali, my PhD student Ali Gazvinian, joining Penn State. And you know, we were having these conversations about what he could be working on in his PhD. So um, that's how this journey started. When I came here in 2018, uh, we started talking about different materials with Benai, and we found out that, okay, one of the materials that is a great option for us is mycelium, because it has a lot of sustainable features. And also because we are in Pennsylvania, and Pennsylvania is producing two thirds of the mushrooms uh, nationwide. We thought that, yeah, it's a great option. Why not working with this material? And I believe in not that long uh, future, we will see use of this material for acoustics, for different insulation agents, and for some semi-structural functions in all buildings. So mycelium is the vegetative part of a fungus. It is kind of a, similar to the roots of a plant. All of our cultivation, material cultivation, takes place in, at the Mushroom Research Center where they have environmentally controlled growth chambers. We have nine growing rooms at the research center, walk-in growing rooms that have climate control that we can control humidity and temperature. And it also helps minimize contamination the way that we're designed and the way we handle the materials. And I'm very grateful for first John's openness for this collaboration. He's a mycologist. And in addition to providing um, like the, the facilities and equipment to use, he also provides a, a lot of input about, you know, what fungi wants and what uh, we can do. So it's through John's um, guidance that uh, we advanced in our research. This is a living material. So it's really difficult to work with that if you are not familiar with the way that it behaves. We try to separate its growth process down into parts so that we can predict it. Um, but there are just some problems that we're still working through. Uh, in my case, I had contamination uh, problems. So uh, there are some working protocols that we need to be aware of. For example, we need to sterilize everything. As a designer, another challenge is the time part. Like you don't e immediately see the results and you have to wait a at least a couple of weeks and something can go wrong and you have to go back to the starting point to start the experimentation. It's not instant discovery. You learn in a, in a, in a longer period of time. So this research is, is very collaborative in nature, interdisciplinary, I'm talking about interdisciplinary collaboration. For example, we have some people from Department of Plant Pathology and Environmental Microbiology. We have people from Civil Engineering, Architectural Engineering, Agricultural Engineering and Material Science. And the reason is because it's such a complex endeavor that we really need different perspectives to, to make forward progress. 
I come in as director of the Living Materials Center to facilitate and bring together uh, researchers at Penn State from, from different colleges, different disciplines, uh, towards that are working towards uh, the same the same goals. I'm the biologist. I'm the mycologist. I've done a lot of work over the years, for the last 20 years now, with mushrooms and mycelium. My role is uh, really to assist with understanding relationships between the main producer, the fungi that are making up the bulk of the material that we're working with and other organisms that may either cause problems or enhance the properties of the fungal material. I see uh, Penn State as a great resource for this research. There's just so many people that can contribute to this research and I'm getting to discover this possibility the more I delve into this research. They bring faculty together and students together from multiple colleges and multiple units to work at the intersection of discipline. And, and the intersection of discipline is where innovations are made.